Hello and welcome to My Garden Journey. I'm John and it's finally May. April here in the UK has been pretty wet and pretty cold. Unfortunately, we've not had a huge amount of sun throughout April, which means a lot of the plants I've got really haven't been growing particularly well. But now we're into May, the days are starting to get longer, the temperatures are rising, and I'm hoping we shouldn't get too much rain. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five seeds that you can sow now for a really good harvest later in the year. For all my sowings today, I'm gonna to be using a peat-free variety of compost that I've sieved and I've added some vermiculite to. That way it retains some moisture, but it also helps with drainage so that hopefully the seeds won't rot. So the first seed I'm gonna sow is courgette. Now courgette is a wonderful plant that grows really quickly and is quite prolific. I prefer baby courgettes rather than the full grown ones because they, they do turn into quite thick marrows if you leave them. But these are a wonderful addition to any kitchen garden. I'm not gonna sow too many courgette seeds because like I said, they grow pretty big pretty quick and they can produce a huge amount of fruit per plant. These seeds are pretty big. You can cut the ends off and some people say that they will help with germination, but to be honest, I've never had a problem with them. I'm gonna sow one of these per station and I'm gonna put them in so that they are upright. That way it stops the moisture from sitting on them and rotting them. I'm just gonna give them a covering with compost to around about the same amount of depth as the seed itself on top of it. So you will need to give them a really good soaking of water. As always, make sure you label it, otherwise you'll forget what it is. Next up is spinach beet, and this is a perpetual bolt hardy variety. Spinach is a really good addition to your kitchen garden because when you grow it at home and cut it and then cook with it straight away, you get all of those wonderful nutrients and flavor. With spinach, I'm gonna be sowing several seeds per module. And that's just because I want to make sure I get germination in each of the modules. It also means that I can split them out a little bit later on and have more plants should I do okay. all the other ones make sure it's labeled luckily these are coming with labels so I don't need to make my own next up is something I like to grow not because it saves me money but because I love the taste of it and that is sweet corn sweet corn directly from your garden which is picked and then cooked is wonderful you can blanch it and freeze it and it's still wonderful later into the winter I'll sow these here in the greenhouse and then once they're around about pencil size I'll get them down to the allotment in the allotment, I'll space them out so that they create a square or potentially a rectangle, and that's because they pollinate from the wind. So these are really, really good, but they do need a fair amount of space. So if you've got it, definitely worth having a go. Sweet corn is a really big seed, and it needs to be sown around about a centimeter deep and covered over with compost. With these and most of the seeds that you'll be sowing today, you really need to give them a very good soak because they need to get that moisture into the seed. Always label so you know what you've done and pop it to the side and hopefully in around about 10 days we should have some more plants. I'm going to be sowing some more lettuce. I did sow some earlier on in the year and I've put them out into my garden but unfortunately the slugs have come out in force and eaten most of them. I need to find a way to protect these once I get them out there this time. But it's really good practice to sequentially sow your lettuce and that means that you sow them with a certain amount of time in between each sowing. That way you can have a constant supply of lettuce. The other type of lettuce I do like to sow is a cut and grow again variety. And that means you can cut the leaves off and then those leaves will grow back and you can keep cutting those and eating them. So that's really good if you've got limited space to use. I'll be sowing several lettuce seeds into each module and that way I'll make sure that I have a good, hopefully, germination rate from them. I can then prick them out and grow them on out in my beds patch. But hopefully that means I get a really good harvest from them later on. So with these, I'm just gonna pinch a few seeds into each station. They will not need a huge amount of compost over the top because they're quite small seeds. And as always, I need a good watering just to kick them off and give them a good start. 
I'm going to be sewing some peas as well. These ones are starting to get a bit late, but I haven't sewn any yet this year and I've still got a little bit of time. Now these peas are ones that are allowed to grow to maturity and then I will take them out of their pods and hopefully freeze them for later on in the year. You can eat them straight from the pods and they are so sweet and lovely. Definitely worth giving a go. I'm going to be sowing these peas directly into the ground because it's warm enough now for these to germinate in the veg patch. I'm going to be putting three to four seeds into each hole and that's because I expect some of them will be eaten as they grow. I choose to put my peas into holes and multi-sow them just because I found that that's the best way for me here in my garden. You can create some drill lines and sow them around about five centimeters apart. That can work and I have done that before but what I tend to find is that I lose seeds and I have spaces so this way I tend to get a really good germination rate and I fill the space quite nicely. So there are five seeds you can be sowing now. There are plenty of other seeds you can sow in May and it's definitely worth heading over to my blog and having a quick look at what else can be sown. This time of year there's plenty of warmth and the soil is starting to really warm up. So you can sow things directly into your veg patch this time of the year as well. So that's it for this week. Be really great to hear from you what you're sowing this time of the year because it will be different depending on where you are in the world. So leave a comment down below and I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.